in this video, I'm going to tell you how to use a metronome in your guitar practice for the most efficiency. Hey, my name is Joseph and it's my passion to help beginner guitarists with the best tips and gear. So if that interests you, consider subscribing and leave any questions you have in the comments below. So let's talk about how to use a metronome for the most efficiency. And there are really two key aspects that we really want to focus on. And the first one is BPM. And that stands for beats per minute. And that's basically just the speed at which a song is going to be played at. So a lower number is a slow BPM and a higher number is a faster BPM. And what we want to have is to only go as fast as we can without making more than a few mistakes. And when I say a few mistakes, I mean one or two mistakes. If you're having more than that, you really need to slow down that BPM until you're making only one or two. And this is a common mistake that beginner guitarists have is that they're playing too fast and they're practicing bad technique and they're not progressing because they're just continuously frustrating themselves by making those mistakes. And so what you really need to do is slow down your practice, whether that's a technique or it's a song, and practice until you make no mistakes. After that, you can progress to a higher BPM and again, only until you're making one or two mistakes. If you're making more mistakes than that, slow it down until you master that BPM. The second key aspect to using a metronome more efficiently is to have a consistency in your technique. And what that means is that especially in slower BPMs, you wanna focus in on your technique so that you're making as little of unnecessary movement as you can. What that'll do is when you do end up playing at the higher BPMs, you're going to be more precise because you're being more efficient with your movements. And you can only work on that when you slow yourself down and really concentrate on your technique. So those are the two key aspects you wanna focus on to use a metronome more efficiently in your guitar practice. But hey, personally, I know that I've heard a lot of people say that we should be using a metronome in our practices, and I have it for a long time, to be honest. But I encourage you guys to start using a metronome in your practices if you aren't already, and I'm confident that it'll be a helpful tool for you to grow as a musician. If you're still on the border of deciding to use a metronome in your practice, check out my video about why you should use a metronome, where I give you a few more benefits on using a metronome in your practice. Link will be in the description below. If you like this video, hit that like button, subscribe for more content like this, and I'll see you in the next video.